So why exactly did Tony Stark go out of his way to make multiple suits for Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man? Well, we know the details, and we know that he sort of did it as a bribe, but also something that could protect Peter. Spider-Man in the MCU is certainly going to see his fair share of mentors, starting with Tony Stark, then of course having Nick Fury aka Talos, and next up Doctor Strange. He's definitely going all over the place and fighting multiple villains from what seems like multiple realities. Now when it came to the proto suit, we know that Peter built that himself. The subsequent suits he would get after that, including the red and blue one, and of course the Iron Spider, were made with Stark Tech and and Peter Parker sort of had them handed to him, if you will. Now, in Avengers Infinity War, we see that it's a very good thing that Tony had the Iron Spider suit ready, or Peter would more or less have died up on that spaceship going into space. Now, why exactly did Tony decide to build this suit for Peter? Well, we have the details, and as it turns out, Tony was looking for how to make this job safer for this teenager. So the spider legs, or the additional legs on the Iron Spider suit, were added on as a safety precaution and a safety measure because of huge falls and being able to have those controlled by an AI as a sort of, let me try to help this kid so he doesn't get hurt. Hence why the suit also has features that are a part of it that can let the AI take over and fight for him, just in case he gets overwhelmed. And the legs that are also on the suit are a safety mechanism just in case Peter falls because they will be able to lessen the blow and protect him, which again we see used multiple times. Now Tony also wanted to have a suit to present to Peter to get him to join the Avengers as a sort of carrot on the stick. If you take this, this is your new suit. You'll think it's cool because you're looking up to the Avengers. Here's what we can offer you. Now, of course, in the course of the MCU, we saw how Peter handled this and what he decided to do, but it's nice to kind of have this explanation of what exactly was going on and why did Tony go out of his way to make it, well, essentially an Iron Man suit for Peter. Now, I wonder if there's any other leftovers that maybe Tony left for Peter in the MCU, like Edith, for example. Will something show up in the third film that will further push this character in a different direction? I mean, who knows? Maybe Tony already had a anti-multiverse version of Electro suit made. I joke, but you all know it's a possibility. <laughs> 